Right here on the corner of Starnes and B Street, a dog was shot and killed earlier this Friday morning, and this cleaned up blood stain marks the spot as you can see here. Now, Fort Myers Police Department says the officer who responded to the scene tried to use alternative methods to stop the dog who was attacking a woman, and the family says they don't believe that story. They wouldn't just attack anybody. The dog DJ's owner, who wishes to remain anonymous, says her pit bull was sweet natured and was only seven months old. I don't know if someone actually got bit or anything. Someone could have just made a false accusation. She says the dog is protective but is not aggressive, but that's not the story we are hearing from Fort Myers Police. A department spokesperson confirming a woman is now in the hospital after they say the dog attacked her and then even tried to bite the officer called to the scene. The extent of the injuries to either the woman or the officer unknown right now, but police say the officer first tried to pepper spray the dog, but it still didn't back down. That's when police say the officer shot and killed the seven month old pit bull. I just want everybody to know that pit bulls aren't bad. You know, everything happens for a reason. DJ's owner tells me the dog found a way out of its fenced in yard. Its owner said about three weeks ago it bit a man who broke into their home. We weren't here when it happened. When we came home, we came home and we came home to a mess. We came home to some man's shoes in our house. Fort Myers police say they are aware this is the second incident of this nature with the same dog. I have a three month old baby. That dog was only doing what it's supposed to do. I'm devastated. I'm heartbroken. Lee County Domestic Animal Services also took the family's other dog named King. No further details on when and if the family will be getting him back. In Fort Myers, Dominga Murray, Fox 4.